Oh shit. What is that? Oh, I'm burning my finger. What is that? Oh, that's in the uh the north at seven fifty seven. It's quite bright. It was at a magnitude of negative negative one point seven eight, I'm gonna guess, or negative two magnitude. That was quite bright. I literally burnt my finger on my cigarette when I looked over at it. I just stared at it and it was just sitting there. It's moving really slow into the north. I'm really not sure what this is, but I've got Stellarium open right next to me outside and I'm gonna have a look at what this is and if that's not there I'm gonna freak out big time. Or I'm gonna lose it behind this tree. Yeah. Wow. Oh you can still see it through the tree. Wow. I oh, know it's gone, it's gone, no, I can't see that anymore. Oh no. No, I'm gonna still follow it. Oh, there it goes. Behind the tree. There's no point following that. G'day anymore. guys. The sighting tonight was around about seven fifty seven exactly on the marker because I saw my watch. Um, this object got to a magnitude of about negative 2.00 I'm guessing as I'm comparing it to the International Space Station that I saw 10 minutes earlier which was in the south rising from underneath the Southern Cross and it was about negative 2 magnitude roughly and then it faded out to a plus 17 magnitude which you couldn't even see it once it entered the Earth's shadow. Anyway so this object um, was moving at about a collateral grid, 35 degrees and 20 hours and 20 minutes. It was right around here, right next to the star 35 Sig in the constellation of Cygnus. And um, whatever this thing was, it was not actually in the database at all. I actually don't know what it was. The reason I filmed it is because when I looked over to it, I saw this yellow light and it was just sitting there. And I was thinking, okay, there's usually not a star. Uh, there's usually not, it, it was like a bright star right here and I'm thinking geez there's usually not a star right there so I immediately filmed it and it was moving extremely slow but from my perspective it was stationary and yes so up next guys is the elongated shape that I also recorded and I've got the constellation down packed on where it flew past as well so have a look at this Wow, wasn't that quite elongated? Um, this one flew past the constellation of Octans, and here we go, here's a bit of a comparison of exactly the exact star cluster that we've got going on here. Okay, so this object doesn't appear to be registered on the database either. So there's two objects I've filmed tonight that, that aren't actually registered on here. Uh, so 7.22pm was when it made its flyover. So we're going to keep going, 721, no, nah, nothing. And then we're going to go up further, 7, oh shit, too fast. <laughs> oh, there's nothing actually in the area though, so whatever it was, I know it flew right past here, it's not actually coming up, so the, the, the strangeness of its shape just gives it away to me that probably it isn't going to be registered on here, but... Whatever that was, I have no idea. Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave you with a uh, meteorite I captured tonight and quite a lot of satellites in one area of the sky that I left. Thanks for watching, guys. Aquarius. Yeah. Two.